Okay, I think I am live. I have no way of knowing, other than that I see a live, uh, but a, it says live on my phone here, but it doesn't show me that anybody's watching. Oh, finish. Finish? Oh, no, no, I don't want to stop. That's if I want to stop. Ah, somebody showed up. <laughs> okay, so I'm here at New York University, New York University. Uh, and I've had a lot of requests. Let me know if those of you leaving messages, if you can hear me okay. Um, I've had a lot of requests to do a studio tour. I'm sitting uh, at the Tisch School of the Arts. I think this floor is technically the Skirball Center for New Media. And uh, this is the view. Ooh, look, it's kind of like a, uh, there's some sort of beautiful sunset cloud action happening back there in New York City. Um, and I'm going to flip the camera. And I'm going to walk down this hallway and uh, into this room. I'm going to use my ID. It's going to open. And then uh, here we are. So this is, what is, this is the room. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to do now. Okay, let me, let me put the camera on me. Yeah, I hid the camera because I didn't want to like show other people who maybe didn't want to be live on, uh, on a live stream. So here I am in the room. Uh, where I record all of my videos. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, I'm going to actually record a couple videos in a moment, but I'm going to go through. <laughs> uh, it's quite small, yes. There's some filing, okay, wait, hold on. Let me turn this around. I'll show you some things first that are in the room and how it's set up. It's a bit of a mess. Um, and then what I'm going to do is gonna, I'm going to go through and um, I'm going to go through and sort of set up all the things I need to set up and then I'll switch to the actual recording system and live stream. So first of all, uh, those of you who are interested in uh, uh, coding train merchandise, here's some sample t-shirts that I have. Uh, you can see, let's see, I gotta turn on some of these. First of all, here's the thermostat. Uh, let's see, maybe I can tell it to cool down in here. Turn that on to 90 minutes. Uh, okay, I am going to uh, turn on this light to make things brighter. There's a button here. Oh, it's not plugged in. I forgot. I have some things unplugged. <laughs> this is really riveting. Uh, okay, so I'm going to plug in some of these lights. Uh, and then, oh, this light is on. This is the camera. So this is the, this is a Mark III camera. You can see it has an HDMI out, which I am getting here. Uh, and that camera is pointed at this particular whiteboard. And the whiteboard is in fact painted onto the wall. So this is the uh, whiteboard paint over here that was used to uh, paint onto the wall. Okay, now, so that's, that's this side of the room. Camera, light, now I don't actually have the lights pointed towards the whiteboard, unfortunately, because, and somebody warned me about this, this whiteboard is very, very, very reflective. So uh, it, it, it's, um, so that didn't really work, unfortunately. Okay, now over here, this is the table that I stand behind. It is a kind of standing desk contraption. It has this uh, button on it where it can move up and down. Uh, and then you'll, if you're wondering, first of all, there's your live chat, I think. Is this, oh no, this is probably a live chat with something else. Um, this is the computer, my, my uh, monitor, which I use to sort of see what everything looks like. So let me, uh, I have to figure out, let's see, hold on. Let's see what I can do. I am going to put my phone right here on my laptop for a second, and I'm going to start turning some things on. Um, okay, so I got to. Uh, I am going to uh, log out of here. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Mm, leave. Uh, I am going to. Uh, um, <laughs> Unprepared. So what I'm doing right now is I am getting my computer set up to uh, live stream. So, and I sh should have done this in advance. And I can see that, I can see people are sending me messages. I need a, a haircut. Yeah. Oh, I really should have gone to like get a haircut and trim the before. I, this was a bad idea to do this studio walkthrough. You're getting a much more close up view of my very not so nicely Manicure itself. Okay, um, here we go. Interact. Okay. Um, okay, so now you can see here, uh, this is the that I use. Uh, and um, it is currently not plugged. It's, this is just it right here. That's the screen that you usually see. But what it needs 
is it needs to be plugged in to the capture system. So I'm looking for <laughs> this particular cable. <laughs> I'm gonna plug it in. Once that happens, resolution changes, and I look over here. Now look over here on my monitor. Oops, my finger is in front of the camera point. This is not very good uh, production value. Ah, my finger's in front of the camera again. Okay, uh, this is my uh, monitor it's, uh, that I look at to the side. There's my random uh, digits book with a train whistle. And you'll notice there's a big black square there. So why is there a big black square? It's because that is the uh, rectangle, so to speak, that uh, is the place for the, the uh, image that this camera sees. So I'm gonna turn this camera on. And now, as I walk back over here, you will see that there I am live keyed uh, with the green screen behind me and the monitor. So this software that you're looking at is called Wirecast. And uh, there's an open source, it's a, it's a broadcasting, it's a made by Telestream, it's broadcasting software. And um, uh, there's an open source uh, free uh, equivalent called Open Broadcast Studio. And I'm thinking of uh, switching over to that um, just to use something that's open source. I think it's open source. <laughs> um, but uh, Wirecast is pretty great. I have enjoyed using it. I had some issues this morning where it was crashing. But a couple things that a Wirecast allows me to do, if I turn on this other camera, uh, turn on this other camera, oops, am I pressing the wrong buttons? Oh, you know what, maybe it's not plugged in. Let's see here, oops, ah. <laughs> Press this button. No, why is this camera not turning on? Ooh, okay, hold on. Hardware de oh, hardware debugging session is a terrible idea. Ooh. This looks like this cable goes to here. Ah, got loose maybe? All right, I'm gonna have to, hold on. I'm gonna, I don't know what you should look at right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put my phone down for a second to uh, test this. Okay, let me, uh, let me put it here and do this. Okay, hold on a second. I am going to go down. I, can you hear me? I am going to go over there to check to see if the cable is plugged in. I do need this camera to work to make videos. Okay, uh, so here it is. I never had this problem. Did I unplug something unwittingly? One thing that I could really use is like cleaning up all these cables. Aha! The reason the camera is not turning on <laughs> is this. This must go into an outlet. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to plug it in now. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, plug that in and now this needs a different plug, which is here. And now, magic of magic, this camera, I believe, ah, it turned on. Uh, and so now, uh, here we go. Uh, so camera, which is pointed at this whiteboard, is now, I can see it, there as shot number two. So, uh, basically, the way, the way that I switch while I'm live streaming between shots, switch this back here, the way that I switch between live stream and shots is, I have them mapped to key strokes. So if I press one, then that's what I see. If I press two, then that's what I see. That's what I'm, so I can live switch between the two views, and I can also press three, which goes to this ridiculous video. So uh, whiteboard, uh, camera and laptop, and a ridiculous video. So I really only have three shots. I also have uh, another shot, which is just, yeah, that's it. Oh, I actually have this, um, which I don't have a, a key map to it, but that is just a shot that shows exactly what the uh, camera is seeing. So there's my random digits. Here's my train whistle. And, uh, yeah, at one point I actually had a and like a big red button. It wasn't that big, and that was like much more fun to use. But then I realized, eh, I could just use a keyboard. And so that's what I uh, switched. 
I prefer a blackboard? No, blackboard, ah, the chalk on the blackboard, ah, it gives me the like tingly, wiggly, wiggly, uncomfortable feelings. So I much prefer a whiteboard. Uh, what else do I need to show? Okay, so a couple things. So all of this stuff, how is this working? Like what computer is running this? So um, the computer is on the back uh, tower and you'll notice all the inputs running into it. So all of these are all those camera inputs. This is for uh, Ethernet. Um, this, I believe, is the microphone. Uh, I'll, I'll show that in a second. Uh, though maybe this is the microphone. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's just the keyboard, probably. So everything runs into this Mac tower, and the, that's the, this is the streaming computer. Um, and so one thing I need to show is, so here's one of the cameras, for example. Coming out of the camera is this HDMI cable. So the cable comes all the way out. This cable doesn't go directly into the tower. It goes into this particular box, which is called, I think it's like a Blackmagic Intensity Extreme. So you can see it gets HDMI in and then Thunderbolt out. So this is necessary because it's not natively a capture device. Um, whoops, uh, it's not natively a capture device. And there's one of my lights. So let's turn on this light. This is another light. I will turn it on. It does, makes the keying much better. Um, so there we go, I turned on this light, and now that's this light with like a soft box. So I, I could really use, one thing I really want to do is um, get a little bit of a grid going in here with more light so the lighting is a bit more from above. Um, what else do I have to show you? I have some, I, I raided my kids' uh, train toy uh, bin at home and brought some train toys in, thinking I would use them as props. <laughs> I haven't figured that out uh, yet, how to do that. Let's see, what else is in here? Uh, lights, I showed you the shirts that I'm on, uh, making available, um, and okay, so other things, um, um, all of this stuff. Um, here is, oh, this is, um, this is the uh, lav mic. This is what's going into the uh, computer uh, with a little antenna here. Um, and I have two bars of battery left. So I, oh, it does say low battery is on. So I might switch the batteries before I start. And then that connects to uh, this particular microphone. So this is the microphone that I uh, use to um, attach to myself and talk into. So now you can see that it's on over there. You'll see green on the right. So I can tell that the mic is working. And then the other thing that I sometimes do uh, for sound effects is the laptop here. Uh, this output, which goes through a magic, a black magic box into the computer, I can actually send audio out of that as well. So I capture that audio into Wirecast. So any audio playing out of this laptop also appears. So I don't know how to demonstrate that super easily, but so then I do a weird thing, which is that I airplay an iPad to, uh, to get audio from like a soundboard on an iPad. But I really want to redo that system. It's not working very well for me. Um, I can't believe that there's 745 people watching this right now. I'm about to switch over. I think I'm, I've done all the setup stuff. I'm about to switch over to do an actual tutorial. This was just a little bit of a preview. People have been asking about a walkthrough of the studio. Uh, I can see chat comments here. Maybe I can kind of take a few questions about what's um, going on in here. Um, so if you guys could, um, kind of uh, um, limit your questions to questions related to the uh, studio. Have I ever thought about doing a live show? Yes. <laughs> uh, clean your whiteboard. I really need to clean the whiteboard. Why? Oh, the camera and the pressing the button. Uh, the camera, stop switching the camera. The camera and the pressing the button, I will, the issue with these cameras is, and I probably should just use different, Mark III 5D cameras. You know, the things I like about them is I can put a custom lens on it, I can have a, you know, focus, they're good quality. There's lots of good things about them. They also natively do HDMI out, the Mark III, the Mark II does not. So I just get a nice clean output. The problem is, and apparently um, this is, yeah, so I, what I need to do is install the Magic Lantern firmware, but I'm a little bit afraid of breaking the cameras. <laughs> so I just kind of haven't gotten around to, doing that. And these cameras are, you know, technically used for other things as well. So these aren't my personal cameras. They're, you know, borrowed. Um, <clears throat> um, oh yeah. How much, how much are those lights from the third? Yeah, those, 
The lights aren't that close to the thermostat. There's a light there. I don't, there's the thermostat. I don't know. Um, so I, but the, the room does kind of heat up. And um, in theory, I should be getting air from up there, but I haven't really noticed that. Okay. What button do you press when you switch between the whiteboard and the green background? So I showed that previously already, but just to show you again, um, I just use keyboard shortcuts. Uh, and then I can switch and you can see it on my monitor over here. So that's why I'm kind of often, oops, uh, my computer went to sleep. That's why I'm often over here doing this. Oh, whoops, you can't see. I'm doing this like I'm pretending that I'm referencing things where really all I'm doing is my hand is by the whiteboard. Um, and I, I, what I really want to do is install a big giant monitor up there behind the camera because what I would like to be able to do is read the, um, like sort of see a live chat uh, um, sort of see a live chat while I'm looking forward as opposed to looking to the side. You can see this is the chat that I look at during the live stream. I also have a second laptop, which I'm not going to open right now, but I have a secondary laptop uh, over here, which I use to um, kind of monitor uh, the stream and that sort of thing. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see what else. Why do I use a Mac? That's what I have. Any specific reason why you use a Mac Pro? It's what I had access to. Um, ah, have I thought about using a light board? Yes. So I have this idea, I've had this idea, and I haven't really had the time to sort of think about it, but um, I, uh, I have this idea to uh, have a, a glass pane, or like right here between me and the camera, so I could draw on it and it would be in front of me and see through, right? as opposed to uh, the white that is behind me. So yes, I have thought about that. Okay, I think, what time is it? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, yeah, so this studio is at New York University. I, I work here at New York University full time. This is actually like a uh, storage closet. <laughs> it's a big storage closet. You'll notice that these are, there's some filing I don't know what's in the filing cabinets. It's a mystery. It's a mystery to me. But they are in here. There are filing cabinets. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching this. Um, I, I can do a more thoughtful version of this another time. If um, Do I look better if I put the camera higher? <laughs> uh, and But I think I should get going with doing some actual tutorials. So eight, all 814 of you apparently who are watching, which is nuts, which is now 805. <laughs> um, uh, oh, I should create a this dot shirt. That's a great suggestion. Um, um, that's a great suggestion. I should create um, a this dot shirt. And maybe I'll do that um, as a kind of limited special run. Maybe I can do it as a fundraiser for a good uh, coding cause. Um, so uh, I'm going to turn off my phone, which will turn off this live stream, and then I'm immediately, not immediately, but about five minutes, I am going to uh, switch and press this button up here, which will turn on my stream and also record a backup, and that will send out what you're seeing here straight to YouTube. Um, someone asked when I'm going to have a People are asking about the name of the channel. I guess I'll, since this is like a just sort of arbitrary, let me just um, give the the short version of this story. So I called the channel Coding Rainbow at one point because I love an old show called Reading Rainbow and I love the idea of rainbow as a friendly, welcoming symbol. Um, and Reading Rainbow is one of my favorites. Uh, it's a program that I, a television program that I loved, PBS. Uh, program here in the United States about reading and literacy with a wonderful host named LeVar Burton. Um, so I kind of didn't really think that I was doing a thing because I was just kind of making videos and I called it a coding rainbow um, as a sort of idea um, informally and then I went a little bit too far with it and I think that I started doing this more as a regular thing and um, unfortunately the you know rightly so the logo and uh, was too close to reading rainbow and it was confusing and a bit of a, <laughs> a trademark issue so i decided um uh, uh, uh to change the name um and the only I, I went through a lot of different options and coding train 
train bow seemed like a good idea at the time. And so that's what I went with um, as a new name. So maybe next year I'll change the name again, but there will be, there was a Coding Rainbow song, a music video, and there still is that music video and song, but it's all been redacted uh, and blurred and some of the lyrics taken out. So um, I am working on a new one with the same composer, Adam Blau, uh, and I hope to have a new video as well. So, um, why do I stream on YouTube, not Twitch? I don't, maybe I should stream on Twitch? YouTube has just been the platform that I started, I used to have all my videos on Vimeo and I uploaded a few to uh, YouTube, I think it was maybe a year and a half ago and I just discovered there was a new audience for it there. And I used to stream both to Twitch and YouTube but it never really caught on and sometimes the chat in Twitch was a little bit, <laughs> you know, sometimes the chat in YouTube isn't as friendly as it could be but in uh, it, the chat in Twitch was, um, there was a little bit more of a kind of mean-spirited energy. I'm sure there's plenty of Twitch channels and chats that are lovely. It, somehow it just didn't really catch on. Anyway, um, so I am going to uh, turn this off. I, I do teach uh, full-time at uh, New York University. Yes, a program called ITP. If you're interested in learning more about it, you can go to itp.nyu.edu. I also used to record my videos at a place called the School for Poetic Computation, which is sfpc.io. That's an independent artist-run school here in New York. Um, but now I'm, I'm back and kind of doing most of the videos at NYU. Okay, so here we go. It's, I don't know what time it is. I got to check. Oh, it's six o'clock. That's when I said the live stream would start. So I got to turn this off. I don't use Open Broadcasting Studio for streaming, but I'm thinking about switching to it. Could I keep streaming both? I have no idea. Let's try. Ha <laughs> this is exciting. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna put this here. Okay, my phone is here. There we go. There, I gotta plug this laptop in. Don't worry, not going anywhere. I'm still here. This is really exciting. I am going to, what's gonna happen? Double live stream on the same account? You can't let me do that, can it? Uh, I'm a little bit too tall for the way I did my phone. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, so now what I'm doing, just to narrate what I'm doing, turning on my laptop, I'm looking at the live stream preview over there. Uh, I see the YouTube chat. Let me open up my Slack channel. So if you're wondering why I keep referring to this Slack channel is to, um, to support, to kind of have a bit more, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I have a Patreon. I don't know, I don't know how to describe that I have that. Patreon is a thing where people can contribute monthly to content creators in a Kickstarter-like way, and I have one. And so as a reward for that Patreon, um, I uh, have a, a Slack channel where um, you know, it's a little bit easier for me to follow that chat live because it's a smaller group and also it's a continuous community, a, a very warm, lovely community. So if anybody's interested in that, um, you can go to thecodingtrain.com. Okay, let me go over here. Oh, look at this. It says I'm streaming right now. Okay, I'm going to type, I am going to try to stream, stream in both places. Typing that into the YouTube chat, <laughs> okay? And now I'm gonna go check the Slack channel and go to my live channel. It says reconnecting, retry, connect, connect, okay. Um, okay, what shampoo do I use, somebody asks. Well, yeah, I do have a bit of a dandruff problem. I probably, I don't know if that's a good thing to admit. Yeah, I have a, you know, I have some mild psoriasis. I've got lots of issues, <laughs> lots of anxiety. But you know, I'm doing, I'm trucking along. I'm, I'm, I'm here, I'm doing my best. Um, shampoo, I, I don't know, I just use whatever shampoo is nobody else is using in my house. <laughs> I, uh, I like uh, tea tree oils, it's very soothing. Uh, okay, C. Manning, I hope you really appreciated that answer to that question. Uh, okay, I am now going to, I am going to attempt, uh, 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 going to attempt, to stream in two places. Will it work? Okay, so now I need to put the microphone on. I can't see the, this chat anymore. Um, uh, okay, I can't really read the YouTube chat on my phone right now because um, it is a little too far away from me. I, I have some vision issues, that's another issue I have. These glasses, I think I need a new prescription. I need reading glasses. Good thing about the Kindle is I can make the font. I love to read. Books are a great thing. Uh, fiction. I'm all. I'm all about. I'm in the. I'm on the. I'm like way behind the times, but I'm. I'm in like. 
I'm, a, I'm, I'm in Harry Potter and Game of Thrones lands. So those are the books that I read. Okay, uh, here we go. So I should probably tweet that uh, live stream happening again. Friday evening live stream. Uh, HTTP youtube.com slash user slash shiftman slash live. And there we go. I tweeted that. Now, I need to, I have, I don't like having these two Twitter accounts. I have at Schiffman, I have at the coding train. I don't like that. Now I'm going to retweet it from the coding train. And hit retweet, there we go. So everybody's been notified who needs to be notified. Close that down. And we go back to my Slack channel. Uh, use HTTPS. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ooh. All right, I'm just looking. Your pullover is so purple. Yeah, anyway, okay. This is an exciting moment. I've got 820 people watching here. I'm about to go live also on YouTube right here. Where will there be more people? How many people can we get? Will it be the same people? Can you have both up? I don't know. This is just a moment. Eventually my phone battery is going to die. Really, but we'll just let it keep going. What is that Google shirt? Google Summer of Code. I'll talk about it in the other live stream. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Is the audio working? I've got the mic on. Well, let me put it in a better place. Um, and um, here we go. Let's try it. Chord stream. Okay, I should be live now here.